Hello. We're going to be fixing this problem today. <clears throat> this is a second-hand camplet trailer tent, and the problem that they have is a known, shall we say, design flaw or feature, is that it's very easy to forget to raise this bar before you start to erect the majority of the trailer tent. So what you should do, and there's a label that says caution, is you should put that up and over, and then this bar has free passage to fully come up as you lift the tent over. However, what is common to do, and I've done this a couple of times myself, is to forget this, try to read this, and then this pole bends on this part here. This being solid bar, this being tube. The tube, of course, being nothing like a strong. Now, you can likely see that there's already a repair here. You can see the rivet from where one bar has joined another. So, we're going to have to do this job again, hopefully this time for the last time. The job will be to drill out the rivet, undo the bolt, replace the part, and then I have a cunning plan to stop it from deforming again. Uh, which is namely, I've got some wooden doweling, which should be just about the right size to go down the tube and provide some internal reinforcement. I've got some beech, I've got some oak. I'll probably use the oak if it'll fit. Looking back, I maybe could have gone for ash, which is even higher again, but either of those would be good enough, I fancy. Um, for an extra bonus job, there is a, a another bend in one of the other poles that I also want to sort out, but this is the most pressing job. So, let's break out the tools. Now, some of you may have seen the videos from Camperlands, wherein they say that you drill a 4mm hole and then insert, insert a 4mm rivet. So, I'm going to take my 4mm drill bit and drill out the old rivet. I'm using this rather grotty old tea towel to stop any shavings. <laughs> Probably don't need the hammer. Well, that did not take long, did it? Fat chance getting this off now. I'll worry about that in a moment. So, what we need to do, pull that out of the way. <coughs> Grab my 17mm socket. Some resistance. Let's see if I can get this other one backed off a touch. There we go. Yeah, so you just need to continuously back off that nut whilst undoing the principal nut. In fact, you could probably, yeah, trap one whilst doing the other. There we go, one old part. new part as supplied by Camberlands you'll notice it doesn't have these flanges on it which is interesting but it'll probably be fine now nice oak dowel does indeed fit down the new tube so what we'll do is we'll mark that off and then cut it wouldn't use the no use a biro for this job but it'll do So that's our cut mark. I just need my saw. Here is the world's rustiest saw. To do the job though. Do you know what? I didn't mark which one's which part was me waste. Which I usually do. Yeah, okay. Just so you know what you're doing. Oh, right, that's not even coming off now, so we'll go with it. I'm just going to 
just cut just inside of the line. That's what you get for having a rusty sewer, I guess. Cool. So all we need to do now is drill out that hole there. Looks like a 10 mil will do the job. Technically a metal bit, not a wood bit, but it'll do the job. Right, so the idea then is that this dowling here will prevent the rod from crushing ever again, even if I am a stupid idiot and forget to move the bar, and the bolt going through it will prevent it from slipping out. Just checking the length is about the same, which it looks to be. Now, so what I need to do is ensure that uh, the bolt is lined up correctly so that when I drill the hole for the rivet, everything's aligned. So, what I'm going to do is put the bolt in first, which will align the pole, and then I can drive uh, through the rivet hole. go into there. I think I'm stripping this. Just want to be sure. Ah, uh, yeah. We we'll push down slightly on this part to get the alignment. That's feeling better. Or is it? I'm going to get some oil on this thread. Doesn't need much. It'll help though. I'm deliberately using a short socket so I can't overpower it. Right, that should do. So all I need to do at this juncture is drill out that hole there. Now normally you'd be centre punching this, but of course the work's already been done. Use the existing hole, just drill in. That's the end of that drill bit. Right, well, I think I found the problem. This is actually a set of wood bits. I didn't have any glasses on when I chose this. So I'll go and get the right thing now. Back in a bit. Always worth using the right tools. Right, so all we need now is a nice 4mm rivet and a brand new rivet gun that I've purchased for the exact purpose of this. Job done. Solid. And that should be that. First, last and only time I have to do this repair. 
with any luck, cross fingers.